hello lovelies welcome back to lifestyle chapter thank you for joining me once again i hope you are all feeling well and staying safe this is another delicious recipe i'm going to share with you that is the coconut curry chicken that i'm making for you to see this recipe was inspired by my indian friends back in the uk when we were in school if you are new to this channel please click on the subscription button and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so you'll be among the first to be notified when this is done let's begin so here i have the ingredients for the recipe i have my chicken my fresh cilantro coconut milk the spices um, onions my coconut um, oil and um, my garlic what I'm going to do next is to have my chicken seasoned it is already washed and cleaned I'm going to season it with some salt and then I'll add up the spices to it which is my paprika I'm going to add some paprika to it and then some black pepper I'll put all the this um, the ingredients in the description box. I have my turmeric powder. And to that, I'll stir everything up together for it to marinate well on the chicken. To get this done, you have to make it gently so everything gets marinated as you are seeing right now. So then I'll put my pan on fire with me adding in some cold pressed coconut oil about two to three tablespoons of cold pressed coconut oil into the pan and I'll allow it to heat and melt up to that I'll start putting in the marinated chicken breast To get them fried It looks like I have more chicken breast, so I'm trying to make room so that I can get all of them into the pan for it to be fried at once. So I'm trying to turn the side on the side of the chicken to see if it is fried on the side. If it's not, I, I leave it there until I make sure all the chicken is fried well and cooked well so as you can see the chicken is now done it is fried well i'm going to take it out of the pan into a bowl and set that aside So to that, I'm going to add in 
the chopped onions and I'll like to to saute for about a, a minute and then I'll add in the crushed garlic I'm adding a little bit of the cold pressed coconut oil because I was feeling my the oil wasn't enough so just a little bit of it about a one table one teaspoon of coconut oil is what I added to it and so I'm stirring everything up for it to get melted and then I'll stir to make sure the onions and the garlic doesn't get burnt so to that I add in the curry powder and I'll allow that to fry with the onions for about two minutes And then I'm adding in around this time you can either add in water or if you have um, chicken stock you can add in your chicken stock or broth so I realized that I had um, some chicken broth in my refrigerator so instead of the water I use the chicken broth so that is what I added to it but if it's okay if you want to use water you are good so I added the chicken broth to it and then I put back in all the fried chicken so that all the juices and the broth and everything would just infuse into the sauce for it to be more tastier. So here I'll allow it to cook in for about three minutes. And to that, I'll add in the coconut milk, which is going to make it creamier. So I have the coconut milk in there. I'm stirring everything up together. And then I'll allow this to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm trying to taste the, the salt to see if it's okay, but it feels like it is okay for now. So I'll allow it to cook. I'll cover it up for you to cook for about 15, 10, 15 minutes. And then to that, I'll add in the juice, the fresh squeezed um, lemon juice, um, is it lemon? Sorry, the fresh squeezed lime juice. I think it's okay to use lemon as well, but uh, for this one, I'm using lime, so it's lime juice. So whilst it's on fire, I'll get prepared with my fresh lunch roll, which is going to be a garnish on it so i have my fresh cilantro which i've washed and i'm i'm cutting them into pieces which i'll use as a garnish
So coming back to the stew, it is it hasn't exhausted all the 15 minutes that's still on it, and you can see it is getting thickened a little bit. So I'll allow it to hit the 15 minutes mark and then we'll continue from there. So the sauce is almost done. I'm going to add in the fresh cilantro and we are all good. I will let it in for about a minute and I'll stir it up. This is going to give the coconut curry chicken that that look and it is going to give it more flavor and i hope you enjoyed this recipe watching this recipe actually and i hope you're going to try it i know you will try it because this is a very delicious recipe and it is loved by so many people as for my indian friends i know they really got me into this so i hope you try it and i'll put all the the ingredients in the description box and so if you have any comments or if you try this just send me a message in the comment and I'm willing to respond to you. And I know that this recipe is going to be a bomb if you try it. So thank you guys. And I'm going to bring you another sumptuous recipe. And I hope you stay safe and be good. Thank you for watching. Bye.